clearance items that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I went over there a couple days ago uh, looking for a cube and they didn't have it marked down. So I bought a few things. They had a few things that were marked uh, as clearance. So I bought a couple things and, and I left the store. And then I told all my friends that they were having a clearance sale over at Hobby Lobby. And so um, my friend Judy went over there the next day and she was telling me that all of the uh, people there were marking down more stuff. And so they were resetting the store and they were going to be marking down more craft items uh, at 75% off. So went out to lunch with my scrapbooking group and then after lunch we went over to Hobby Lobby and did some damage. <laughs> So Judy, this one's for you. So uh, you weren't there when we bought our stuff and so I'm going to just show you what I got. And um, hope y'all guys get a chance to go over to Hobby Lobby and check out what they have on clearance. So this first item was uh, a drawer organizer cube and uh, it was marked down to $8.74. Can you believe it? <laughs> so I got a few of these and I also got a, um, another one. It's a different type of cube. Let me grab it. These are super heavy. All right. So I got a couple of the four drawer units and then I got a couple of these, um, which is a five shelf storage cube and it's for storing paper. So my plan for these is to put them in my uh, craft closet. I currently have wire shelving in that closet and makes it kind of difficult to store things like scrapbook albums and paper and, and whatnot. So I'm planning on putting these cubes in there uh, to help with uh, storing some things in my closet. So let me just go ahead and take these off my table and I'm going to be right back with the rest of my haul. Okay, I'm back with some additional items that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I have a lot to show y'all in this haul. So I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment on this video and I'll try to answer your questions whenever I get a chance. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have some flowers here. I got these Prima flowers and these little packs were $1.24. And I usually don't buy these flowers. I love, I love having the flowers. I just don't usually like paying $5, but I'll pay $1.24. <laughs> so I got three packs of these. And then I found these large containers. These were originally a dollar, no, these were originally $12.99. And they had them marked down to $3.24. And this is like an awesome deal. This has all different colors in this one. And then the other one that I have here is white. And I think this is an even better deal because I love having white paper flowers because you can use your ink pads your markers and your ink sprays and you can color make them any color you want so you can make them match your project and so I love having the white paper flowers and then I also got these uh, white flowers from the paper studio and these were $1.24 and then the last flowers I got were these are also from the paper studio and these are like a craft cardstock with some have glitter and then they have the jewels in the center and these were $1.24 as well so that's all the paper flowers I have. And then I got this trim. This is also from the Paper Studio and it was a dollar and 49 cents. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. This reminds me of that burlap trim that I got at Tuesday mornings not too long ago. So this has, it looks like three feet of each color. So it's a one yard of each of the six. Okay, next thing we have are some embellishments. And uh, first two items here are some paper clips. These are from the Paper Studio and they were 99 cents. And I have some cameras. And then also some coffee cups. And these are like a brass color. It's like a gold but kind of brassy looking. And then uh, these are from Paper Studio as well. They're called Spare Parts. And they were $1.24. And I got two different ones. I got this one. And then I also got this one. We have some paper clips from the Paper Studio, and I love these. I actually had a set of these from uh, Tuesday morning, and I used almost all of them. I think I have just one left, so I was really happy to see this in Hobby Lobby for $1.24. And then we have this uh, binder clips from the Paper Studio, 
These are really cute. And they're gold with different uh, sayings on them. These were also $1.24. Next up, we have some puppy paws. These are wood veneer stickers. Some of them have black uh, paws and some of them are silver. And these were 99 cents. Uh, then I found uh, two of these. Actually, uh, my friend Tina found these. We went shopping after we went to lunch. So uh, Tina found these and uh, I love flares and usually they're pretty pricey too. It's $4 the normal price. Well, we got these for 99 cents. And then the second one is this one here. So that was a good find, Tina. <laughs> we had fun. We went out to lunch. We went to Saltgrass Steakhouse and then we all went shopping. Actually, Judy went shopping first. She went before lunch and she's the one that told us that they were marking everything down at Hobby Lobby and that we needed to go over there. So, <laughs> uh, Next up we have some washi tape and this is um, Passport. It's a travel themed washi and this is just adorable. I love anything travel themed and uh, this is only $4.99 so that was a steal. And then I got a second tube. This one is Flourishing Faith and it has a lot of really pretty washi in this one as well. And I got one more washi, but this one is a smaller one. It's $3.74 and it's pet related like cats and dogs. And I just think this is so cute. All right. Got some more things here. I <laughs> uh, got a couple sticker books. This one is from Me and My Big Ideas and it's called Bad to the Bone. It was $1.24. And if y'all want to stick around to the end of the video, I will flip through this sticker book and also this sticker book. This one is from the Paper Studio. It's called All Seasons Bottle Cap. And uh, this one's really cool because it's one inch circle stickers. And you can use the bottle caps, but what I like to use it for is uh, the one inch epoxy clear stickers. You can put that uh, epoxy clear sticker on top of this uh, little circles and make um, an embellishment that looks kind of like a flare. So, uh, I will flip through this one too at the end if y'all are interested to stick around for that. Okay, next up we have some uh, stickers and these were, uh, Judy told us about these. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to go over there to Tuesday mornings was because when Judy was at the store she was telling me that they had the thickers on clearance and so I was super excited when we went over there and they still had a few left. So I got three thickers. And my friend Tina also got a few. Um, so I wish they would have had more, but I'm happy with getting these three. The first one here is called Eclair, and it's a green glitter foam sticker for thickers. These are really pretty. And then this next one is like a bright pink color, and it's also called Eclair. And then the last one, which is my favorite, it's called the Lucky Ones, and it's like a gold glitter foam. So it's sparkly. <laughs> and then on the back, it's white foam. And I like the white foam because you can actually color that any color you want. So having the white foam is really cool too. And these stickers were all $1.24. So next up, we have these gemstone stickers. These are from the Paper Studio. And one is gold and the other one is silver. Those are really cool. Okay, then we got more stickers. <laughs> then we got this sticker from the Paper Studio. It was only 67 or 62 cents. And it's uh, puffy stickers, which are really cool. And I just love this little um, bus pass. And then there's like a little double decker bus. I think this is so cute. And then I got a couple more travel stickers. This is from Jolie's Boutique and it was 99 cents. And then here's another Jolie's for 99 cents. Next up we have um, Momenta stickers. These are kind of like a family theme sticker. And I can thank the Tina for these stickers as well because she's the one that showed me all these Momenta stickers and they're so cute. Um, they have some wood veneer and they're very dimensional. Let me see if I can show you on the side. You might not could see it, but they're really cool. And then this one has like fabric 
This one has fabric on it, so it's like a canvas. And then this one looks like cork, so they're all different textures. Looks like this one has some burlap. These are really, really cool stickers, and they were $1.24. So also from Memento is this, uh, I guess this is kind of like a sailing or beach related sticker sheet. These are cute. I've never seen this before. I guess I've never noticed it in Hobby Lobby before, but these are really, really cute. And I love this one. This is like a puppy dog related and uh, cute, cute. These were all $1.24. Here's one that is like a camping trip or road trip. Here's a baby, baby boy maybe. I guess you could use it for a girl too. Uh, then this one is donut related. <laughs> I think this is just so cute. Do not worry, be happy. Treat yourself, you make me happy. And then the last one, oh no, I have two more. This one here is um, kind of like Southwestern themed. It's got like cactus and stuff in it. And then the last one I have is also baby. It's different than the other baby. This one has like greens and blues in it. Really, really cute. I love these stickers. So thanks, Tina. Up next, we have some stamps. And uh, I couldn't believe some of the prices on these stamps. I wanted to buy this stamp set, and um, I never I never did get it. But when I saw it there on sale for $3.24, I just had to pick it up. Isn't this adorable? I just love this. And it would make really cute cards, like a Get Well card. This was originally $13.99, and they had it on sale for $3.24. And this is from Art Impressions. And does it say what it is? Oh, here we go. It's a Doggy Kisses set. Isn't that cute? I just love that. I'm going to have to make me a Get Well card for somebody. I don't know who's sick yet, but I'll have to, to pull that out next time somebody gets sick. I can make a card. Okay, here's another one. This is another Art Impressions. And uh, this one is called... What is it called? Whisk It. Whisk It. I hate when they put the price tag on top of stuff. The Whisk It Set. That's what it's called. It's called Whisk It Set. And it's like a baking. Isn't that cute? I just love her. She's just adorable. This would make really cute birthday cards. It's got some birthday sayings on there too. And that's what it looks like on the back. That one was also $3.24. And then here's one. This is from Cartabella. And uh, I think this is really pretty. And it's got some really awesome sayings on it. What is this from? It says Cartabella. Let Love Bloom. That's what it's called. Let Love Bloom. It reminds me of one of their uh, the collections, but I can't remember which one. That's really pretty. Okay, next up we have Stampability's Happy Camper. That's cute too. I love little suitcases. <laughs> and a little camper. <laughs> so adorable. And then we have another one from Stampability's. This one's called Beach Life. This one was $2.49. Okay, so the next ones I have are from Ranger Letterit. This one is called Invitation, and it's like scripty words that you can use to make invitations, which I think is cool. And I got this one, which is called Celebration. And then we have one called Birthday. These are awesome. These were all $1.74. And then this last one is called Thank You. And then uh, this was a, a fine. This one, I think they might have had this marked wrong because the original price was $12.99 and they had it marked for $1.74. And I just think this is so cute. I have some Disney pages that I want to uh, scrap. So I'm uh, going to put this with my Disney stuff and uh, hopefully I can start scrapping that soon. But this is uh, really cute. Okay, I got one more item, and that is this, uh, what is this from? We Are Memory Keepers. This is acrylic stamping block, 
And I got the um, actual stamping press from Tuesday mornings not too long ago. And I, I know you can buy additional plates. So when I saw this, I snapped it up. I really am excited about getting an extra, extra plate for my stamp press. And uh, this is so cool. I have, um, I have several different stamp presses. I actually have the original Misty. I have uh, the Ranger or the Tim Holtz uh, stamp press and then or stamping platform. And then I got this one because I can't do 12 by 12 in the, in the Misty or the uh, Tim Holtz one. So this one, the way that this one is actually designed, you can do bigger paper. And so I went ahead and picked it up at Tuesday mornings. And super cool that I found this for $2.49. And now I have an extra plate. So anyway, that's all I had for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.